Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Haller for an Hour. This time we're checking out the game Restless Soul, which is about a ghost that wants to return to the world of the living. Apparently this is sort of an adventure slash precision platformer puzzler thing that's also a comedy? I don't quite know. The aesthetic of the game caught my attention a little bit, and we are getting to October here. For some of us, it's already October. So why not play a little spoopy ghost game? Of course, before we begin, if you like the video, do think about giving a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, think about doing that as well. But if you really want to help out, think about coming over to Twitch. We're trying to reach partner over here, but we need more viewers to do it. So if you want to come by, whether it's to lurk or to talk, think about doing so because it does make a world of difference. Also, we have a pretty cool Discord community if you want to check that out. I have a coffee link if you want to help directly monetize my content. And I have a Streamlabs merch store now if you want to buy some pretty cool merch. All links are in the description, so check them out at your leisure. With that being said, let's see what this has in store for us. Who's playing? That's a good question. I guess it would be me. Charm. Wait! I want a name too! No, sorry, you're dead. I mean, I'm kind of an undead dog, but I, I, I have slightly more life to be, so I get a name. Not you. Too late. You let Charm choose! Sorry, the game has already started. Sorry, I should have asked earlier, no backsies. There's a place where souls go after death. They all arrive with pending issues. Unresolved business or regrets from their life. And that is why they all try to go back. However, at some point, they stop trying. Or someone makes them stop. Are you done talking? Yes, you can move now. Use the left stick to walk. Hooray! This path leads to nowhere. I want to go there. Really, there's nowhere to go. I want to go there. I'm not walking in that direction. I might fall off the map. You're a ghost. You float. The greatest adventure lies ahead, not behind. You say that. The potential of behinds is is un is unstable. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this path leads to nowhere. Oh, is it just looping? Oh, it's just looping. I thought there'd be a secret. Oh, well. Dog. Next. Dog. Who's a good boy? I can pet dog. Ah! Ghost dog. Oh, I thought this was a talking dog. I am! Woof is my name! Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Door is locked. Portrait of Dr. Cruel. 64 pixel by 64 pixels. Pixel on canvas. Afterlife, a place to die for. Employee of the mo a Millennium. <laughs> and the next one, too, probably. Alright, let's talk to him. <laughs> Welcome to the afterlife. Yes, you're dead. No big deal. Here, your soul will rest peacefully. As long as you stay out of trouble. <laughs> I must go back to life. You what? <laughs> I've never heard that before from a recently deceased person. <laughs> I said I need to go back to life. Oh, sorry. I didn't hear you. There's too much noise in here. Yeah, where's that music coming from? You already want to go back to life? We just got here. Stay a while. Enjoy your vacation. <laughs> yes, I know. I'm sorry. I'm sure you have a very good reason. In fact, I could check that. Let's take a look at your record. Oh no! What is it? This doesn't make any sense. You're holding the book upside down. Oh, you're right! <laughs> okay, let me see. Well, now I understand why you'd like to go back. Excuse me one moment, please. Or maybe he hasn't heard it. Maybe ghosts don't normally want to go back. Let's see here. What's it say? Wow, this book contains my whole life. 
Now I don't have to worry about writing my autobiography. Let's just ask Death for their copy. Yeah, that makes sense. There's more to do in this game besides petting me, you know? Yeah, but that's not worth as much. I know. I don't care. <laughs> Maybe I should erase some embarrassing moments. Like that time I accidentally called the teacher mom. <laughs> Chuckles. Hey, I was five years old! Seems like interacting with things twice sometimes has a something that it does. But only twice. Except for the thing at the beginning. One thing I will immediately complain about. I wonder if I can change this. Oh, <laughs> did anybody pull it out of phone? Alright. Items. No items. I have no items. <laughs> it's the after- I have the after phone. Nice. No fast so saved. Oh, uh... Hi. Good. <laughs> One thing I'd like to note, uh... Oh no, they don't do it, do they? Uh, no. Why is, why is there a god bone? Okay, well. Uh, damn, there's one thing this game desperately needs if it wants to be a narrative comedy. Text feed options. I was noticing it was scrolling a little slow for me. I can read it faster than it was scrolling. There's no way to increase that, is there? Uh, oh, is this a Pokemon town? <laughs> it seems to be a Pokemon town. This is a very Pokemon map set up. Alright. Maybe there's a way to... No. Well, we already have Game Boy Color. We have already Game Boy original Game Boy Colors, basically. I can hear a conversation. There are some pending issues on the record. Could be a problem. Oh wait, I can scroll faster, but I have to hold down X. Okay. Well, this soul hears about the portal. Dr. Crawl's not going to like that. Exactly. You know what needs to be done. Relax. Unfortunately, the button to advance text faster does not also advance to the next text box. Hmm. You call it a near-death experience. I call it a vibe check for Marcius. <laughs> King Minya. Yeah. What does that mean? We'll take care of it. Okay. Oh, I can also hit B to event. Okay, A to advance text, X to scroll faster, and B to make it instantly appear. But they all do that individually. They don't. None of them. None of them share features. You gotta press different buttons for each one. Okay, that's really weird. Wait. First, you have to learn how to fight. Why are you assuming that I don't know how to fight? Oh, sorry. Do you already know how to fight? No. <laughs> I'll teach you. <laughs> Follow me. Okay. Avoid skipping text. And I guess so. It's it's not the end of the world. It's at least at least there's a way to advance it faster. Welcome to the tutorial. I'll be your guide. First, you'll learn how to dash. Take note. I don't have a pencil. Press dash or LT button to avoid bullets. Can we try the fake bullets? No. You're dead. Whatever. <laughs> Oh, okay, it's an instant. Oh. Looks like you've mastered the art of dashing. I just pressed all the buttons. Follow me to the next room. I'll teach you how to shoot. Shoot? I'm a pacifist. You'll be doing it to achieve inner peace. Okay, teach me then. Okay, <laughs> that's a good enough excuse for shooting people, I guess. <laughs> you can shoot in all directions. Aim and shoot using your right stick. Now try to defeat these enemies. Can we try fake enemies? No! <laughs> Alright. Alright. I've taught you all I know! That's it? Well, yeah! I'm just a ghost dog! What'd you expect? You should be impressed. I'm sorry, I am impressed should go. You've made me sad. Goodbye. <laughs> Achievement unlocked, Professor Wolf. <laughs> That's a cat. Uh-oh. Cat scene? One out of 1,000. What do you mean, one out of 1,000? One out of 1,000? That's a lot. I'll never unlock that achievement. Cat scene. One out of 10. 
One out of ten? That's too easy. <laughs> okay. Achievement destroyed. Are you happy now? <laughs> so it's both locked and unlocked at the same time? Just play. <laughs> achievement unlocked, achievement destroyed. Okay. What happens if I go back? Now that I know how to shoot and all. Feel like a Shadox and that figure. Not as cute the char not as cute the charm, dude. Hello again. Hope you remember what I taught you. I see great potential in you. I probably forgot some of that stuff. I take that back. <laughs> take that back. Oh, I can go through here now. Hello. The soul is here. Was I supposed to backtrack? Uh, that's interesting. Do something. Run away. I'm sick of more fighting. Right, who would run away? I would. Red Reaper is of kind of a pansy. You won't get in the way of Dr. Crawl's plans! Even though I don't really know what his plan is! Okay. Battle's over, you win! By the way, I'm the narrator. Nice to meet you. When didn't we have the conversation? I was wondering where that voice had been coming from. Huh. Door is locked. Oh. Huh. Sorry, I'm just thinking. Like, there was another path I didn't go down, and I was wondering where it went. <laughs> that that might have been important. I may have sequence broke something, maybe. Huh. Let me guess. Okay, there are actually multiple saves. So let me just see what I missed, and if it doesn't matter, then I'll just go back to the save. You're gonna have tracks from Drop by Hydra. Oh, neat. Speed run. Okay, there is more here. Trust nobody, but trust me, even though I'm a random note written by someone you don't know. You found a potion. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh! <laughs> okay. Alright, then. I guess I'll play off the sys file, then. It's more than... <laughs> there we go. Hold B to fast forward. Wait, 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 hold. Oh, I can hold B? Ah. Okay, they did actually consider some things then. It does take a while to hold B, though. I guess I'll just fight this guy again. Okay, that's. that. Oh, wow, that actually, like, proper fast forwards. Alright, well, fair enough then.
Alright, move it on then. Before you go, I'm sure there are lots of questions you'd like to ask. Yeah. What's the Wi-Fi password? Related to the portal that allows you to go back to life! Oh, right. What do you know about it? Legend says that the portal is locked with eight keys. Eight keys? Could they just use one good key? No, otherwise this game would be too short. Fair enough. You should go find them. I think you can do it. <coughs> the dog has died. Oh no. It's already dead. It's a ghost dog. Shit. I feel it in me. Like this vibrating energy. I think that's your phone vibrating. Oh, you're right. You have a phone too. You should check it out. Press B to access your afterphone. It's a bunch of cool features and useful information. Okay, I gotta take this one. See you later. Just me and the boy. <laughs> you know I can see you hiding behind that plant, don't you? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just a regular plant. Regular plants can't talk. I agree with the plant. Wait, what? Why are you wet? Someone came to wire this plant! Yeah, right. I didn't see anybody. Silence! I scared him. All that for a potion. Well, still, it ended a path opening up, which might matter. I hope nobody warns Dr. Krull about me. I'll tell Dr. Krull all about you! <laughs> okay. Good. Soul check-in open 24 hours, except on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Sunday to be confirmed. I'm lucky I got in when I did, then. <laughs> so, Alpha Town, Ruins... Okay, so this is... Oh, we're stuck to the path. Okay. Alpha Town. New dawn, a new day, a new life in this old town. Hello, chef. <laughs> My house is empty because material stuff can't buy you happiness. Just kidding, I'm poor. <laughs> poor in the afterlife. At least you have a home. You're right, I should sell and buy material stuff. And then you wouldn't have any place to put it. <laughs> I am the mayor of Alpha Town. Well, not really. I just like to pretend I am while he's gone. Has anyone noticed you're not the real mayor? Not really. We're both great pretenders. I pretend to be him, and he pretends to care for this town. <laughs> Does democracy exist in this place? Do mayors get elected? Oh, no, that nice. In a way, yes. By other souls? By Dr. Crawl. I'm sure that counts. Aha! Please don't tell anyone where I am. I want to see. I want to win high and seek the championship. I've been here for six years. That competition was canceled five years ago. Oh, how would I know that? I just got here. <laughs> Why don't I tell me? They couldn't find you. Well, I should go home. Yeah, I don't think my family is going to believe any of this. Well, they must be pretty angry, too. I need some time alone. <laughs> okay. I think it's a bit early for Halloween decorations. There you go, a decoration! I'm sorry, I didn't know. Is it too early, though? I've already decorated! <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah, me too! <laughs> He's like, yeah, me too. Good. Well, the thing you decorated, also decorated. Protector Krill's army built a tower in the north side of town. What do you think they are hiding? Maybe the portal to go back to life? I don't think so. Nobody knows where the portal is. And if you go looking for it, then you'll touch Dr. Krill's attention. So what advice can you give me? Get used to being dead, I guess. <laughs> Have you tried searching for the portal? I'm not good at finding things. I can't find my fridge. Perhaps you never had one in the first place. That would make more sense. It's not like the fridge is just going to disappear. There's your fridge. Yeah, I'm not falling for that one. Okay, I'll fall for it. Keep it cool. <laughs> okay. Cool, Floyd table. Not so cool we're eating though. I'm not sleepy. 
On the other hand, I'm hungry. Sorry, I don't have any food. Wait, the fridge. All right, never mind then. <laughs> never mind then. Is there any point to talking to everybody? Dr. Crawl sure is scary. Have you ever met him? Not really, but legends are told. Like what? He only burnt, he once burnt down a whole town just because he was cold. Oh, that is one way to get timber. Food must be very expensive here. Hmm. What's this? You found letter. I. One out of nine letters found an alpha town. Okay, uh, this is actually something to collect. Oh, I'm literally finding letters. Okay, gotcha. What about... I'm the developer of this game! I'm just making sure that everything is working fine. Don't go play! Also, I'm just looking for letters. You guys seem to like to hide behind buildings. Why do I want to go back to life? Because I left sight of the oven! <clears throat> that might be too late. That is such a mundane reason, though. I'm gonna get water. I, I should drink more water. <clears throat> TMB3. What does that mean? Hi. Welcome to the Mysterious Building Number 3. Oh, okay. Legend says that if you visit all Mysterious Buildings in the correct order, something magical will happen. Well, this is the third one, so I guess you have to look for them. Okay, I've entered that legend, but I really think it's true. Why else would they be numbered? What do I get for visiting all Mysterious Buildings in the correct order? To answer that, go to the Mysterious Building Number 4. Okay, so there's four of them. Got it. Hmm. I don't have any items. Yeah, I do have numbers. Or letters. Ah, I see. There's two of nine. Okay. Let's see how this works. I always wanted to be the main character. Well, it might be a bit late for that. No! It's my game now! Wait, you have no money, no inventory, and made 0% progress. Well, yeah, I've just started. That's not true, I have two, two letters. You can have it back. Just kidding, I'll take it back. He took our camera, he took our Lakitu. Alright, chicken. Don't talk to me yet. I'm still learning my lines. Sorry. It must be hard to, look, to speak as a chicken. Free Wi-Fi zone. Oh, there we go. I found Wi-Fi. Into free Wi-Fi zone. Very small zone for free Wi-Fi. When I stand here, cells and crates like crazy. When I, okay. Good for you. These maps are really expensive. You want one or not? Okay, give me one. You bought a map. I have money. <laughs> I guess I brought that with me. Wait a minute. It's just a piece of paper that says, you are in the afterlife. No refunds. Ah, the guy standing in front of the sign moved and now says, not very useful maps. I see. How rude. So, the map doesn't indicate an up or a down, but there's an up or a down here. So I guess I'll go up. Can I enter the tower? No one can enter. Can I enter? Sure. You let him in? Yeah, he's part of our army. Can I be in your army? No one can join our army. Can I join your army? Sure. <laughs> oh, come on. I'm just messing with you. I don't even work here. You seem good. Want to really work for us? Sure, thank you. Now you really can't enter. <laughs> Alright. 
What is this place? Alpha Tower, keep out. Trespassers will be called names, and that hurts. <laughs> Fair enough. Come on, I really need to enter this tower. Why? Uh, <clears throat> re reverse psychology. You know what? I think you shouldn't let me in. Are you trying to re use reverse psychology on me? That is a great idea. Go on. I don't need your approval. Now I won't use it. Wait, what just happened? <laughs> I'm expecting someone inside. Who are you expecting to fight inside? Myself. That's deep, but still no. <laughs> That's... Let me explain what the song. No, please don't sing. I hate musicals. Damn. Stop! <laughs> that worked, that worked, I guess. We got in. <coughs> Let's see. I'm afraid to go upstairs. There must be lots of enemies, that's for sure. Oh no! I don't want to go, but I have to go! I get it, sometimes you have to prove yourself. No, I just have to go to the upstairs bathroom! I'm sure there's one outside. Great! <laughs> Why'd you even enter here, then? I meant one enemy, not one bathroom. They'll figure it out. <laughs> okay. Well, hello there! Why are these Why are these minions kings? We're trying to come up with the best way to fight you! What have you got so far? Nothing! We don't know you very well. If you have five hours to spare, I'll tell you the story of my life. Please don't. It's all started a long time ago. We are not listening to this! Alright, I'll, I'll kill you then. Again, I guess. This is afterlife. Battle's over. I won 0 XP. XP doesn't matter in this game. Okay, if it makes you feel better, let's say you won 100 XP. Alright, cool. I'll take it. We're conditional pacifists. We won't attack you, unless you attack us. Then we'll have to stop you right there. Can you just let me pass this once? Let me think of- let's think about it. Good. After we fought. Oh. Conditional passes. That explains the earlier enemies, yeah. Wow, I never thought you'd get this far. No offense. That's not that hard. I'm doing fine. Well, it's not bad. There you are. I forgot to ask you something. Are you going to ask me if you can join my party and fight these enemies? What? Which enemies? Oh, I've just remembered I have an appointment. Coward dog. I'll send you to the after afterlife. Is that even a thing? Let's find out. All right, you're... Problems, I can take care of this. There. You're getting the hang of it. Only 297 battles remaining. Just kidding, I didn't count them. Could be more. Fair. Here's some people take turns to fight. They what? Who fights like that? Am I supposed to just stand there while you hit me? I know. It doesn't make any sense. King V, huh? I guess he's a tougher version. Quote unquote tougher. Great job! Careful now, battles might get harder. Or not. The visit of the game design. Either way, keep going! Hmm, buttons. There's not on this table. Press button A to start a boss fight. Press button B to start a surprise. I think it's better than a boss fight. What surprise? What's the surprise? Surprise! Boss bads. If you want the key, you'll have to defeat me! What if I don't want the key? Shouldn't press any buttons. Okay, fair enough. And done. Battle's over, you win! Now go get that key! I mean, if you want to. I don't want to. I would like to see where the other path goes. You found a book. It's called How to Win Every Battle, but you forgot your reading glasses. Maybe an enemy can read it to you. Good luck with that. And what's this? Ah, a letter. So I won the, uh, letter F. I guess it is part of the Alpha Town letters. Okay. 
Portal keys only open for the one who is in possession of the eight keys. I once had them all, but lost them. In retrospect, I should have bought a keychain. And a potion. Hello. F, my beloved. <laughs> F is the most popular letter in the afterlife. Many people pay it respects. Thanks for rescuing me. My brothers and I refused to join Dr. Kroll's army, and so we are locked up and separated. Can you help us? We're supposed to be at Silver Pond. This game seems kind of cute. I was, I'm, I'm kind of debating if it's too wordy. <coughs> There's a, the, da the danger of a comedic narrative game is if the narrative isn't, if the narrative isn't funny enough, the words become bogged down the experience. It all becomes a question of does it flow with the experience or not? Death is not the end of life. Also, why am I leaving notes on the walls? Maybe I should start a blog. Alright. First key. This is great. That's why I would say if Dark Calls Army weren't looking for it. They were? They weren't very good at finding it. What's in here? Okay. <laughs> Gotta look for secrets. That, that, you found letter E. So this is gonna spell afterlife. Okay. Four out of nine letters. So secrets are kind of like, this was, the ground was weird there, so I knew there was a secret. So, I guess it's good to look for secrets. Now I really have to tell Dr. Crawl. Well, then why did you do that earlier? <laughs> he was like, I gotta tell him that actually I'm, I'm gonna loiter, actually, and kind of look around. Now I will actually do it. What was I doing? You're gonna tell Dr. Crawl. Right, thanks! <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if we should have helped him with that. I appreciate Secrets having a marker. Stop following me! I'm not following you, it's just I'm also heading towards the exit. Alright. Well, don't walk so fast, then! See, for instance, these interactions with the Grim Reaper, are they f are they funny enough to constantly interrupt the game? That's the real question I have. I feel like the game is maybe a little too wordy for its own good. I don't necessarily mind some of the humor, but I don't feel like it's... I don't think uh, enough of it's knee-slappingly funny enough to just have it interrupt constantly. I don't know, though. You're late for battle! I know! I didn't hear my alarm clock this morning. Think we could reschedule it? I don't think so. I've already defeated them all. Oh, I see. Well, I'll fight you by myself. All right, how about first thing tomorrow morning? Tomorrow morning? Nah, I prefer to sleep. <laughs> Too lazy to fight, goodbye. Now, it's a bit different if, if it's a forced interaction compared to an interaction that I can choose to do like that. There, I could, I could have not talked to the guy. So, I had the choice of making that interaction. Which I do believe changes, you know, how wordy something should be. I traveled all the way from Beachtown to deliver this letter to you. Is it good news or bad news? Bad news. And I don't want it. And you think that if you ignore them, they'll just simply disappear. Yes. <laughs> it worked! Okay, that was funny. That was actually good. Bip. It worked! <laughs> Good. Now all I have to do is stay out of Dr. Crawl's sight, and he's gonna be right out here, because you said that. Hi. Uh-oh. What? The music stopped. That can't be good. No, oh, he's next to me, isn't he? I don't wanna look. Phew! That was close. Actually, I'm over here. You really wanna find the portal, huh? I will let you do that. Okay. You lost the first key. Oh, that's rude. Oh man, I just got that. Oh. Wait! I'm not dead. I mean, I am dead, but I was just knocked out. I think I can continue. Into chapter one. Okay. That's better. Where am I? Wait a minute. I can walk through these bars. Paper Mario! Freedom! Just don't tell the other inmates, please. Not, even, not everyone realizes they can do that. Where am I? Gloomy forest, huh? Alright. Well, I gotta walk back, technically. I missed some letters. Be right back. Unless you don't find me. In which case, I'm not coming back. I don't wanna go back in there. Though it's always nice to have a roof over my head. Help! I'm not supposed to be in here. That's what they all say. No, listen! I'm a guard, I work here. That's exactly what they all say. Yeah, I didn't know. That's what the prisoner who put me in here told me. You didn't have to use the solitary confinement area. Just got out of these today, there today after 10 years. <laughs> Somebody's having bad luck. Prisoner 333, you've served 20 years. You are free to go. Do you have anything to say? 
I do. I'm not talking to you. Yes. Finally. So long, prisoner number 333. I'm not going to miss you, that's for sure. What did you want to say? I am prisoner number 333. Hey, are they still chasing those who are trying to go back to life? Yes, that's how I ended up in here. Same thing happened to me. You gotta help me. I'll help you escape so you can help me. Second thought. It's calm and quiet in here. Better come back after you defeated everyone. Please go away. I will start a journal to try to keep my sanity. Day one. Today I am... Looks like the ink on his pin ran out! <laughs> Yikes. That, that's, that's a bit rough. Prison of the month? Wow! My dad would be proud. You just got here. I'm not. <laughs> dad, how rude. Yeah, we weren't very close. What do you want, prisoner number that? At least it ends with 666, so we're kind of cool. Edgy. Are there really that many prisoners? Yes, anyone who doesn't follow the rules imposed by Dr. Crawl will end up locked in here. Though it looks like the guard who registered you fell asleep on the keyboard. Ah, fair enough. <laughs> Hey, where are you going? Are you coming back? Yeah. Really? That's nice. Wish all prisoners were like you. I'll come back. Don't, don't you worry. Your mind is the hardest prison to escape. Wow, that's deep. No, that's the name of our prison. <laughs> Your mind is the entry. Oh, I see. No, it wasn't that hard. If that's the hardest thing, uh, that's not very hard at all. Uh... See, I came back. I said I would. Bye. I didn't say how long I'd come back or if I'd come back permanently. Gloomy forest. A memory of all the trees cut in vain. I think the sign was made of wood. Looks like someone forgot their belongings here. Is this some kind of test? Or right next to a prison. That is a bad place to lose your belongings. Road to Alpha Town. Oh, is this a transition building? Aren't you a prison? Have you already served your sentence? I got released early for good behavior. Who decided that? Me. But before escaping, I did behave myself. I will notice, like, not only is the town map thing is very Pokemon, classic Pokemon, but so are these transition buildings between areas. I rode to Waterfall Town. This is, it's very much Pokemon, but you're dead <laughs> for some reason. But it's also not really a Pokemon game. I'm still settling in. I arrived today. I hope they have better traffic lights in here. Dr. Cross said we are not supposed to visit the ruins. Now that I said that, I want totally you totally want to go, don't you? Yeah, kinda. And you're not supposed to give me all your potions. Now you totally want to give me, don't you? Not really. Worth trying. Why do you need the potions? With this statue, the memory of our first res resident lives forever. It looks so alive. Now I should mention it. I'm not a statue. The sculptor asked me to stand here, but he never came back. I think he wasn't the sculptor. Why don't you just get down? I'm scared of the water. Fair enough? <laughs> Doctor's away on vacation. Please stay healthy. But, but this isn't a fighting game. But this is a fighting game. Oh, there's a letter. Now I need four more. There's only attraction here. I don't know what you. I was really expecting. Door is locked. Okay. The letter could be in there. For all I know. Do you have. Uh, hi, Mario. Do you have automatic negative thinking? Uh, stay positive. I, I saw the catch there. Alpha ruins. Nothing interesting. Really don't go. Yeah, there's two E's in afterlife. And here's an R. There we go. All right. Hmm. I saw that. Are you an archaeologist? I am! Do you know anything about a portal? Keep it down. You're going to get us in trouble. Are you a mole? Come closer. I just know that once the portal is used, it is closed for a very long time. So you better hurry. Thanks for sharing. 
So have you found anything interesting lately? Well, there was this really cool looking artifact. Ooh, can I see it? You stepped on it. Sorry! You ruined it. You ruined it! What did I ruin? Looks like ground to me. The door is locked. There's something written on it. It's her first key. Dr. Crawl sent me to see if someone tried to open this door. Are you trying to open this door? No, I'm not. Good. Someone tried to open it? Nope. Good. Because I can't see a thing with these glasses. But I sure look cool. I don't like this. Some NPCs have two dialogue lines, but other ones just have one, so you just repeat the same dialogue. It's dangerous to go along. Alright, so are you coming with me? No, it's dangerous if we go together as well. Is there gonna be a weapon? Perhaps a sword? Nope, it's dangerous even if you carry a weapon. Is there any way to make it less dangerous? Yes! Stay at home. Honestly, we have shoot up bullets, so we're fine. Uh, now to go through the obvious secret entrance. I wonder how many missed secret areas I missed. You have no idea! <laughs> Can't carry more potions. It's not like you have infinite pockets, you know? Okay, that's that's fine. I understand. I'll just take this L. <laughs> I'm missing two letters now. I wonder where they are. Well, I, I imagine they could be in here. L. Yeah, tell honestly, there's a lot of games, a lot of RPG style games or just narrative style games where you can talk to NPCs for multiple dialogue, but you never know when it's gonna loop. And some some NPCs will only have one line of dialogue, so sometimes it feels like a waste of time. It's it's weird how many games do this when you could just simply have yeah an exclamation above their head, letting you know they have something new to say, and then when the exclamation goes away, you know okay, no reason to talk to them anymore. It's weird how, how that would solve so many issues, but like no games ever use it. Good night, dear car. Like, there's tons of games out there that would really benefit from that, and it's very simple to code that sort of thing, but uh, nobody ever does it. Nobody thinks to do it. And everybody's like, no, no, we'll just let the players waste their time. Like, I don't know, it's kind of silly. So, I think we got all the letters in the tower. Probably. Probably. Still missy too, though. Actually, wait. There is one thing I possibly missed. If... It occurs to me this room shape was weird. I just wanted to check. Nope. Okay. Then probably not. <clears throat> the other two letters might be in the ruins proper or in the doctor's office or a mix. And it looks like the secret paths are really not actually that hidden, so... If I don't see anything of note, then it's probably the case that there's nothing to see. As much as the dog is like, you missed a whole bunch of shit. Uh, I don't think- I think that was just a joke and not actually an indicator that I was missing things. Alright, I can teleport to move faster. Well, it's a dash, but technically it's a blink jump. This is quite efficient. I wonder if there's any secrets in the buildings. I can see my reflection. I'm looking good today. 
Oh wait, it wasn't my reflection, it's a neighbor. Thanks, I have my hair cut! Wait. Ah. Don't take Dr. Krull! Oh! I was wondering why a little photo icon pops up. So I guess taking your photo with... It's not Halloween yet! You know what that means? This means we have to wait. No, it means photos with me are free! Oh, okay. So you can take photos to... Certain NPCs will have an interaction with photos, I guess. Not all of them, though. Just the ones that have a little rumble and a little uh, icon up here. Like this guy. Vote for me! <laughs> yeah, if they don't have a- if they don't have a little icon pop-up, then it, It's really quick, I didn't notice it at first. Oh no, I get all emotional when I contemplate the horizon. Here I stand, all by myself, trying to find the way back to life. Why can't I leave it all behind? Does it really matter anymore? Alright, that's enough. <laughs> Room be small. I wasn't actually sure because of the void shape. So no letter, no letter in there then. Okay. And I've checked behind all the buildings so far. Please I'll post a review online. Oh, well, then let me refund my map. Hmm? Oh, that also explains something else. Yeah. Oh great, they'll turn me into a meme. <laughs> so there's a semi-secret interaction with some NPCs if you take a photo of them. That's kind of neat. Coastal video games always remind me of Cherry Grove and Pokemon. Was that one of the coastal ones? I always mix up. I like Gold and Silver is really one of my favorite. Uh, generations, but I always mix up the towns. Alright. To find the next tower, you'll need to go down, right, up, right, again. Down, right, up, right. And then down again. Then finally right. You want me to repeat? Yeah. To start the game all over, because I won't repeat it. I'll repeat it. I'll say I can't. My code won't allow it. Your molecule? Now maybe what's the program to repeat it. D well, um, anybody write that down? <laughs> This is embarrassing, but I don't know how to swim. There, I said it! Maybe if I had a life jacket. Oh, we'll learn surf. Okay. What are you doing over there? Oh, the letter's in the water in town. I watched a documentary about minimalism. Now I decided to start a new life right here. I feel like committed? Well, I got rid of my, all my possessions. Is the stuff I said earlier over there was yours? Are you still there? Oh, thank goodness. Oh, yeah, that, that, right. Uh, yeah, I don't think he was very convinced. Um, I need, I, I need somebody to, uh, look back on that. <laughs> For me, if you don't mind. Unless it doesn't matter. I assume it was like a forest maze solution. Oh yeah, I did take it. <laughs> I'll get the clip. Well, let's see if when we need it, I guess, but... Because <clears throat> I, I won't be playing too much longer, but... What? There was a puzzle hint and then the guy said he wouldn't repeat it ever again. So why do you want to go back to life, anyway? I can't tell you. Why not? It would be a spoiler. Oh, come on! No one's listening. Do, do people need a lot of reasons to not to want to go back to life? I am certainly not listening. I mean, grass sounds. Russell, did you say grass sounds? Thank you, Hyper. I feel like every time I say something, somebody appears to say the opposite. That's not true. When I try to talk seriously, somebody makes a joke. What'll happen again? In this conversation? <laughs> I want to have a private conversation. There's always somebody listening. Yes, go on! <laughs> if I want to ask for advice, I feel like no one will listen to me. 
I'm sorry, were you talking to me? I was testing my new invisible headphones. Can't hear me. He's testing his new invisible headphones. Or maybe they want to talk to me. I'm really testing my headphones. Wait, how'd you hear me? I didn't. I just read the text on the screen. Oh, well, that's better. So, uh... Road to Waterfall Town. Okay. I don't even know what those directions were for. This path goes to Waterfall Town. Is name like that because there's a big waterfall? Yes, names of towns are usually pretty accurate. I think this is a Dr. Crawl Town then. No, but we are in a doc we are in Dr. Crawl region. <laughs> That's definitely not Cantal region. Waterfall Town, home to one of the two wonders of the afterlife. So yeah, I'm gonna just say straight out that I don't mind this game's humor, even when it doesn't land completely, it's not a big deal. <laughs> Public stack library and the private library back there. What the hell? I don't mind this game's humor. Some of it's good, some of it doesn't land as hard, but it's not really a big deal. It's not like it's a cringy or anything. But I will say that I, I think it's, it's it's trying too often. Like, the the humor may or may not land, but that's fine. But what the problem is, is like maybe it's... It sure interrupts a lot, is what I'm trying to say. Like, it's to the point where I don't really want to... I don't really want to interact with people. Unless I need to. And you know, L is given. Like, I don't know, maybe if all this compact dialogue stuff, like, I, was separated by dungeons that didn't have a lot of compact dialogue, so it was, like, broken up, then it would be kind of okay. But, like, even when I was going through the dungeon, every single time I had a fight, before the fight happened, there was dialogue, and it's, like, every fight, and it's, like, this game talks too much, you know? <laughs> Not the worst problem to have. Another closed doctor's office, all right. How do I get to the private library? I do like that there's a private library just out of the way, where you can't get to it. That does amuse me a little bit. You want the ball? Go get it! Now, have you seen my hand? I swear I left it right here. Eh, never mind, I'll just go home and change my sprite. That's one way to do it. Why don't you say anything? <laughs> the Machievous dog. Developer's house, please don't interrupt. Let's do it. F. F, I left without picking it up F, so I'll say F to that. You found letter F. FL. Put those letters to keep you entertained. Thanks, it's working! It does entertain me. I guess you're important. You should borrow some pipe boards and put them on social media. It's the most I ever have heard. Yeah, th that's the problem with humor games. I know humor is subjective, but regardless of whether humor is good or not, because I could argue that some of these jokes land better than others, but y your mileage may vary depending on what kind of jokes you like. But I will say that regardless of whether or not you like this game's humor, the problem is really just... Santa, what are you doing here? Turns out driving a sleigh is harder than it looks. I see. Listen, you think giving gifts takes away the true meaning of Christmas? Wait, is there another meaning? Maybe I'll ask someone else. <laughs> I had a personal trainer because I always find an excuse to avoid the gym. Well thought, but your gym. Just tell them here, you can't avoid the gym if you're gym, because then you'd be avoiding yourself. But yeah, anyways, uh, it doesn't really matter if the jokes land or not. The problem is, even if jokes the jokes are really good, or they're really bad, depending on your personal opinion of the humor, um, if the jokes are happening too often, then it's kind of getting in the way of the gameplay, you know? And there's also a very distinct difference between a game with a strong narrative and also there's humor, and a game that just has a lot of jokes. Like, I wouldn't say this game has a strong narrative. Yes, it has a lot of people talking. 
I'm gonna drink. This game has a lot of people talking, but it's not really trying to develop a very strong story, I would say. And yeah, some of the jokes land, but uh, for me, I find humor to be best when I'm also invested in the in the story that something's trying to tell. And when it comes to a game, that also means gameplay investment, for me at least. It's too dark in here. I know! I could pay my electricity bill. Why not? Can't find the dark. And that's why. Wait, who said that? That I was alone. I'm just your voice of conscience. I'm also here. I came to disconnect your service. Now I can't find the door. Didn't think that one through, did you, Bill? <laughs> Compared to Grim Fandango, a game I've never personally played, but uh, I would love to hear your opinions on it. I can't personally compare it. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of people here. Found a potion. More like he stole it. Didn't know it was yours. You walked to my house without asking to my potion. You're right. So is that your TV? Get out. You think we should drink? Yeah, sure. That's okay. You can have it. I guess I, you need it more than I do. <laughs> now your local news brought to you by Doctor Crawl. Thank you. If you're trying to go back to life, I got some news for you. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> and now the weather. <laughs> was Doctor Crawl just doing the whole news report himself? Turn it off. <laughs> okay. You know, make a lag veil, and he's like, "Today we're gonna have 23 degrees Celsius. The forecast is cloudy." I'm like, <laughs> oh, you're sort of multitask, doesn't he? TMB three or oh, four? Or oh, wait, what? Five, six, seven? That's seven. That's eight. They said there was four of them. I guess there's a particular order, I suppose. I don't know what the correct order is. I was thinking numerically, but. Yeah, this game is definitely taking Pokemon elements, like the world map, the world design, kind of the layout, as well as like, oh, I don't have Surf yet, but once I get it, I can go in the water. Secret. Charm's trying to listen. I am? Go away! <gasps> I'll tell you all about it later. Okay. I'm sure it was nothing. Actually, I know the shortcut to the portal takes you back to life. <laughs> Okay, I'll just walk behind the building where you went. So, how did Grim Fandango handle humor, narrative, and story, and story and gameplay? I do know it's a game that was people liked. I don't know much about it personally, but I know it was a good game from what I heard. Are you a road? You are a road. I guess I can't go in there yet. I see that. Did I actually take a picture? No. Actually, no. <laughs> didn't. <laughs> that was a story only picture. It didn't actually take a picture. Or tells you the secret of getting, doing the correct order. It might. I don't, I don't quite remember. Yeah, there's... I'm not saying this is exactly it, but there's nothing quite anno as annoying as a game that thinks that its humor is so damn good that it just throws it everywhere. Like... I guess, what is the word for it? When somebody thinks... Did I just heal? Interesting. E. <laughs> when a game thinks it's so... That it's, that it's dialogue is so worthwhile, whether it's a humor or not. Some games do this with super serious plot lines and stuff too. Uh, but basically when a game adds so much dialogue into it, because it thinks this dialogue is really, like, this is really 
meaningful slash really funny slash really engaging and it's it's it, I guess how to put it is you're a video game talking is fine if it's a visual novel I understand but you're still a game if you're game if you're anything aside from a visual novel or text adventure perhaps try something besides just throwing dialogue everywhere It could get annoying. Like, I mean, I've lost interest in talking to the NPCs because why would I choose to get into optional dialogue when the game is throwing a ton at me, anyways? Seems a little silly. I mean, obviously, if you want to, if you want to see all the dialogue, cool. But the humor is kind of I, I kind of rate the game's humor like a, a five out of ten, where it's like, oh, like overall, I mean, where like some stuff is funny, but a lot of it's just okay. They're saying words. It's mildly entertaining. <laughs> this is kind of how it feels. That's something about... That's just something about, uh... Writing dialogue, writing, writing a story. If you think you're doing a really, really, really good job, a really engaging, interesting job with something, that's narrative based and then it turns out maybe it doesn't land as right for some people that can be kind of painful you know but like watch here's the here's the guess so here's the next dungeon right Here's the thing, right? What really killed it for me was when I went through the first tower, I was like, okay, we're gonna fight enemies. It's gonna be interesting. But then every single fight was preluded by precluded by dialogue. And I just was like, man, this is a pace. Like, there's no pace to this game. It just wants to constantly talk. Many hours later, it's an elevator. How did it take? How did this? Is his first day of operating an elevator? Thus, it took him hours to get the person to their floor. Wow, that is being a bad op elevator operator. Again, some of this humor is is actually kind of funny. But you, but it's like, oops, I never pressed the button. <laughs> this guy sucks his job. <laughs> Didn't press the button. Couldn't I press the button? Stairs pack DLC sold separately. But like, yeah, uh, I'm gonna try to actually abstain. Oh, what the f wait, what the fuck? Oh, that was an accident. But actually, now that I look at it, I get it. That was yeah. The, the floor does indicate. I just didn't notice. Gotta look for. Gotta look for little visual quirks. But like, here you go. Yeah, yeah, shut up, shut up. Just fight. <laughs> like, if you wanted to do a dialogue-heavy game, what you should really do with something like this, in my personal opinion, is... Okay, have your towns, everybody talks to you and stuff. Okay, cool. And then you go to a dungeon. And the dungeon kind of shuts up for a second and actually gives you some proper challenges. Because, again, this game still wants to be an action-shooty game. So, okay, shut up when you're in a dungeon game and just present to be some puzzles, some traps, some enemies interesting arrangements and stuff just shut up and give me some gameplay in a block and then once that gameplay block is done you can go back to chatting me up in, outside of the dungeon again you know that that's the sort of thing i would say but like just so much dialogue i mean now using this i mean there is, i'm glad there's a skip feature but mm, like I, I know some people will just say oh well there's an ability to skip like i'm using right now so i should stop complaining just because I can speed up the interruptions doesn't eliminate the interruptions. <laughs> That's the thing. Like, you know what's better than a speed up button? Just not having the- not having interruptions. 
Actually, the addition of the speed up button lets me know that the developer is at least somewhat aware that there might be a problem with the design, but... Tried to add that as a band-aid? I don't know, man. I would just... Again, I, I don't... I, I personally don't feel that a, a, a dialogue-heavy game is really that engaging. Humor, whether or not it's trying to be serious, casual, funny, whatever. Oh, for fuck's sake, shut up and fight me. Every enemy has to have a quip before I fight it. Oh, oh shit. That was an advanced boss and I didn't realize that. Also, you know, one joke I'm missing is why are the enemies, why are the mooks kings exactly? I don't, I don't quite understand that. Maybe, maybe it adds up to a lead-in joke later or something. But yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm partial to some of the humor of this. It's just that it's bogged. It's so bogged, you know? I will talk to the dog. I'm gonna be very transparent with you, said the dog. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. We're pretty up here. I, I guess. Sure, jump in the water. Sure, jump in the water. My jump button doesn't work. Yes, yeah, right, we don't have that. No. <laughs> the guy offended the main protagonist, and he just shut up. Hey! That's it! Offend the characters and they'll shut up. <laughs> Got it. Careful, we can't use dash in this room. Why not? Stable band dash particles on the floor. Did you just make that up? No, maybe. Okay, you could have also just like... Could have also just like displayed an icon rather than making that... Wait, did they just die? Oh. They, they they feel so bad if they if you pass by them that they just die. It makes them it makes them realize they fell in life. Okay. Is there any secrets here? This would be a good place to hide a secret down down one of these side paths. Cause then you have to backtrack for it. But yeah, I mean, it almost feels like the gameplay is, is not there for any good reason. <sighs> Wolf, shut up. God, even the dogs annoy me. Yeah, I'm gonna end pretty soon. But yeah, I, I don't know, man. I see what the goal was here, but... It just confuses me. It almost makes me go like, well, if you didn't want to focus on- If you wanted to focus so heavily on the narrative and not at all on the gameplay, why is there even gameplay? <laughs> like, that's the confusing part. Why- why is this not just your attempt at a humorous visual novel or something? Obviously, I- I come- I try to pick games for Halo for now based on what their gameplay is. So if it's a narrative-focused game, I will still care about the gameplay aspect. Um, I don't mind a narrative-focused game if it balances it well. Even a game with higher levels of narrative and dialogue can still make that dialogue enriching and pair it well with actual gameplay, you know? Also, this isn't hard, so it feels like the gameplay really is just kind of there. I haven't taken a single hit, I'd like to know. Oh, my. Oh, wow, that could have hit me. That didn't count, because I killed him. <laughs> okay, there you whatever, whatever you say, buddy. But yeah. Oh, hello, Kitescar. Kitescar, how you doing? Yeah, you got red. There was a lot of subs given out earlier. It was the end of September, so everybody, everybody threw down some subs. Yeah, that, yeah, I just, yeah, this is a good example. I've run into a few games like this where the, the where the, um... Are we doing this bit again? Are we doing this bit again? I don't have to chase around every room. I brought a teleport device to teleport directly to this castle. Okay, cool. You still interrupted me, though. I mean, <laughs> when you get down to it. 
Ah, <laughs> they're still doing it. That didn't work as expected. Let's try it again. My God, is this fun? Is this is this is this funny? Haha, <laughs> they're interrupting you every screen with the guy trying to run away, just like they did in the first tower. <laughs> Seriously, this isn't funny in my personal opinion. Again, humor is subjective. I mean, it's a little bit funny, but like the interruptions make it less funny, I guess. You know. Like, if I was watching, if I was just chilling out watching a video and it was doing a joke like this in, in, a, in a comedy skit on a, on, a, on a video, then maybe it'd be a little more acceptable, right? But these interruptions... We teleport the, the teleporter. <laughs> funny to watch, not funny to play. Yeah, that's how I put it. Oh. Huh. Okay. All right, cool. Yeah, this game, I just think that the developer thinks they're so funny. <laughs> to put it very simple, they think they are so funny. And that's a that's a problem when the humor is kind of okay, but like they're just yammering. You know what it reminds me of? It kind of reminds me of you ever you ever have a friend or just you meet somebody that thinks they're really funny and they just will like, you get into a conversation with them, and they will not let you go because they just want to tell you some jokes or tell you something witty. And they just, they won't stop. They just keep chaining it off over and over again. Like, one thing after another. If they're in a group of people, they're the ones that try to dominate the conversation and uh, constantly, like, fit in with, like, somebody's trying to talk about something. And they're just like, ha ha, like your last day, right? And they just, like, throw in a joke anywhere. Like, even when people are trying to have a different conversation or something. Yeah, you know those people? Yeah, that's the developer of this game. That's- he's one of those people. <laughs> to put it very simply. Basically, those people who think that humor is always funny all the time. And g g give me, man. I do like a comedic game now and then. It's just... This isn't the way you do it, <laughs> I, I personally feel. Oh, you can just straight up skip some stuff with the menu button too. Anyways, I'm done. Obviously, <laughs> I'm kind of, I'm kind of a little bit out of it, <laughs> as you could tell. But I mean, it's cool that you get teleports at the same time. But yeah, it's a very linear game with a lot of dialogue, way too much dialogue, you could say. Uh, yeah, it's it doesn't quite land for me. It's not really even about the quality of the humor, because some stuff was funny, but some stuff wasn't. Your you, charm, you hurt my ears. I did. What did I do? <laughs> oh, the, the me, 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 me doing the obnoxious voice. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, it's 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 not even necessarily about the quality of the humor. Again, these jokes are okay to good. That's what I would rate them as. Okay to good. Uh, some people might find most of these jokes a lot funnier than me, or something. Some people might find this stuff funnier uh, overall. But the problem is, I just don't think, regardless of how funny it actually is or isn't. There are so many words being thrown at the player for a game that also has a gameplay loop of, well, you know, actual gameplay. Like, it needs to figure out what its focus is. If it purely wants to be about its humor, or if it wants to be purely a narrative game, then I think the plot is too weak for that to really work. It's really just haha -ha jokes for the whole plot. And, I mean, that would be okay if there was gameplay to support it in my book. But the gameplay is, the actual gameplay, aside from walking around, is very brief. The encounters also interrupt the flow of dialogue all the time, and they're not terribly hard either. So the gameplay isn't really that engaging. So if it, if it wants to be a narrative-focused game, then it should either try to construct a decent plot with that humor. It's entirely possible to make a humorous plot that also has structure to the plot and actual, like, you know, progression, story, you know... Uh, climaxes and you know points of engagement in the plot it's possible to build a proper plot with a comedic and still have it be comedic and if that was the focus then that would work but that's not the focus here it's not it's not a strong enough plot for that uh, since it's effectively just jokes strung together and that's okay though a weaker plot would also be okay if the gameplay was better but the gameplay is really weak as well so what do you really have here is just some good to middling jokes 
with a plot that doesn't really propel you forward or make you motivated to see it through, because it's all about the jokes, not about any actual build-up of story. And then you got the gameplay that doesn't really pull you along either, uh, because the gameplay is pretty shallow, it doesn't show up that much really, and it gets interrupted a lot by the dialogue again. It's just overwhelmingly too wordy without actually getting you invested. So, my opinion is that Restless Soul is not a game I would recommend playing, unless you really do enjoy this type of humor it's doing, find it a lot funnier than I do, or if you just really care about, like, wordy experiences. But honestly, if you're the sort of person that does like a wordy experience, likes visual novels, text adventures, etc., go play those. Why would you play this weird game that has this, you know, action-y gameplay uh, mixing it up, or kind of just kind of dotted about weirdly? I would say you'd be better off playing a proper visual novel than playing this game if you want something wordy. And there's definitely some funny visual novels out there, after all, so... Um, yeah, I just don't feel like this game's really for anybody. There's better things you can take in any genre, depending on what you feel like playing. If you want a better... If you want an action game with with shooty elements, with Crimson shooty elements, like this has, there's way better examples out there. If you want really funny games, there's way better examples out there of, like, visual novels and text adventures and such. I mean, hell, this Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Classic text adventure. Very fucking witty, that one. Uh, kind of an asshole, but it is a very funny text adventure with an actual plot. So, you know. But, uh, yeah, Restless Soul. I see where the soul is restless. It doesn't really fit it anywhere. <laughs> I would not recommend this one. 